Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, we are going through the Ultimate Wigan World Potion Guide. Wigan World Potions are used in Hogwarts Legacy to replenish health. They are incredibly helpful when you are in combat. They're also very easy to use. You simply just press down on your D-pad if you are using a controller and it is going to use one and give you some health back. You can buy the Wigan World Potions, but I don't recommend it. There is limited stock in the shops where you can buy them and it's just a waste of gold because you can actually craft them yourself and you can craft them in bigger numbers. You can be much more efficient if you are crafting them. There are some requirements for this. You do need to make some progress into the game. You are going to need your talent tree and you are going to need the room of requirement. And once you have made it that far, you are going to have one of the ingredients naturally and that is going to be the Dittany leaves. You get them by completing Herbology class. And then for the other ingredient, hawk lump juice we actually have a farming method to get your hands on those because you can't actually grow those yourself so if we head to the world map you've got hogwarts castle you've got hogsmeade and what we are going to do is go north of hogsmeade we are going to grab the flu flamer up a hogsfield and you are going to go to hawk lump hollow so when you get to the hollow there are going to be a couple of enemies but just to get rid of them and then if we use revelio you are going to see right outside the hollow there are two hawk lump juices. So we are going to grab those. There's some lacewing flies here as well. Then we are going to actually enter the hollow. The moment you get in, you're going to have to use a fire-based spell to get rid of the leaves so you can make progress. And there is a hawk lump juice right there. And then if we use Revelio, we have nothing over there, I don't think. But here's Hawk Lump Juice number two, number three. So that's a three already. If we jump over this gap, that's going to be number four. And the final one is down here. And as you carry on, there is going to be a troll. So if we take out this troll, then when you get to the bottom, after taking down the troll, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's an extra seven hawk lump juices in here. Then after opening the chest, grabbing those hawk lump juices, the seven of them, if you come back along and you jump up this wall here, come across these planks and then go through this little passage up to the top and then you can exit the hollow. Right outside there is going to be another hawk lump juice. Then the thing with hawk lump juice is it takes three in-game days to respawn. Like That's how long it takes to grow. So what you're going to do instead of sitting around waiting, going off and doing other things, if you're wanting to get enough of this juice to last you a while, what you can do is open up your map and looking at the bottom right, you can see there's a prompt to wait. If you wait seven times just to be on the safe side, because it's night and day, so it's roughly half a day each time you do wait, do it seven times, you can go back and farm it straight away. So I'm going to wait the seven times now. So I've waited seven times, we're heading back to Hawk Lump Hollow now, and the thing with Hawk Lump Juice is, it grows mainly around caves and stuff, so this isn't the only place to get it in the game, you can get it in lots of different areas, but this is where it's going to be best for farming, you are going to get like the biggest number in the shortest amount of time, so it's the most efficient. So you'll see that the Hawk Lump Juice has spawned again, so we can do exactly the same run again. And if you want to do this even faster, you don't want to deal with the troll, you can simply just run away from the troll. You can go straight through the gate that leads you into this section, and you can completely ignore him. The gate's right here, and you'll see the troll dude is still alive. And it doesn't matter if you enter combat or anything, it's not going to force you to stay in that arena. This gate doesn't lock or anything like that. This one outside the exit brings it up to 15 as well. So that's 15 from a single run. So I've just done a quick speed run of grabbing the hawk lump juice and that's 15 hawk lump juice, that's lace wing flies, there's moonstone, there's shrivel fig and in total it took 3 minutes 6 seconds, it took 1 minute 12 seconds to do all of the waiting and then from actually leaving up a hogsfield, flying over, defeating the enemies and running through the hollow, that took 1 minute 53. So in 3 minutes you're going to get loads of goodies including 15 hawk lump juice. The next thing I recommend is going to Tomes and Scrolls and you are going to buy the table for the Room of Requirement that lets you have five small pots. Also, if you've got the gold, make sure you grab the T-shaped potion table. That's going to let you craft three Wigan World potions every 15 seconds. 
But bear in mind with this, you don't need to go too over the top because you are capped to carry in a maximum of 25 Wigan World Potions at a single time. So in my room of requirement, I have one five pot table for the Dittany leaves and you get five every yield. So in 10 minutes, I can gather 25 Dittany leaves and the seed is infinite. There's not a limit to how many you can craft or like basically plant or anything like that. And then if we come over to the potion station, this is the T ones. You can craft the three at any time. If we have a look, I have 378 Destiny leaves and I've got 93 Hawk Lump Juice. So if I put that one on, then interact with the next part, put that one on, and then put this one on. That's all three that are brewing. And in four seconds, we are going to get our first one. So there we go. There's number one and a couple of seconds later there's number two then we have the final one and that is three wigan world potions in 15 seconds it's the most efficient you're going to get the craft in you don't need it to be any more efficient realistically because you'll see at the bottom right i've got 22 potions on me i can only craft another three and then my capacity is full and last but definitely not least to finish off this guide when you have the talent tree available if you make your way into the tree and you go to the core one, I highly recommend you get the two potency upgrades for the Wigan Weld Potion. When you have potency number two, I'm not sure if you actually need to have potency number one, but I've unlocked them both, and with them both, whenever I use a Wigan Weld Potion, on normal difficulty, I go from basically zero health all the way up to max in a single use. And that was the Hogwarts Legacy Ultimate Guide to Wigan World Potions. That is also going to wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Hogwarts Legacy in the comments. And check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.